For the past 12 years, filmmakers and movie buffs have traveled to Sun Valley to participate in the Sun Valley Film Festival. And for the first time in over a decade, instead of in-person showcase of filmmaking talent, this year the event is virtual. Lifestyle host Melissa Paul caught up with the festival's director to get the inside scoop. Candace, it is so great to see you. The Sun Valley Film Festival is happening. I know that it's a pandemic and you're you're honoring that because for the first time in over a decade, this event is actually going to be virtual. So share that with us. We are thrilled to be back. It was a bummer to have to cancel a mere five days before last year, um, but we've marshaled the troops and we've got an amazing slate of about 18 films, some coffee talks with some great honorees. You'll be able to watch it from the comfort of your own home and plan to be back in Sun Valley next year. I love that. You know, th there is a lot to be said about being in the comfort of your own home. You can wear your pajamas. There's no cold weather, right? No lines. There's a lot of benefits. Tell me more about the films though too, because it's been a really unique year in the way of production. So I'm just curious to know what type of movies will we be seeing? Well, we've got a great mix of both documentaries and narratives. National Geographic, our doc partner is back this year with a couple of amazing pieces, which is really great. And we've also got um, a few films that were slated for to be in the festival last year that were held back. Um, so one example is Ruth about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, which is really timely. And that's actually got some local ties with uh, Frida Lee Mock, the documentary filmmaker, having home in Sun Valley. So, you know, a great mix of stuff. We've got a slate of short films as well, but we really like to think of it as an eclectic mix that has something for everyone. Wonderful. So some movies that we should have seen last year, we finally get to see now, and then maybe even a mix of some new stuff shot during the pandemic. So a wonderful arrangement of entertainment opportunities. Um, you had also mentioned too, some honorees. So we're gonna be hearing some of Hollywood's greatest, one of my favorites, Ethan Hawke. Yes, he's great. We, um, we're thrilled to be able to have three amazing honorees this year that we have conversations with them in our coffee talk. So yes, Ethan is one. He's one of our vision honorees. We also have Gal Gadot, who is our other vision honoree, Wonder Woman, which is really exciting. And then Shaka King, who's an amazing filmmaker. Um, he's nominated for a number of Academy Awards for his film, Judah and the Black Messiah. Wonderful. I know we're all very hungry for entertainment, but this is also an opportunity for those who are interested in the industry to hear from those Hollywood giants, like you mentioned, Gal Gadot, woo -hoo, Wonder Woman, right? Um, but um, also, uh, to to really become educated more too about this great art uh the sun valley film festival a nonprofit, so supporting this is so important cannot wait to get our viewers out to do exactly that all right thanks melissa you can learn more at sunvalleyfilmfestival.org the festival starts wednesday april 14th and goes through sunday the 18th